hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel join me to make this cold pressed coconut oil at home let's get through the process this is me clearing my akai from two years ago and i know you're gonna love this one first i got my coconut from the market strong ones like these are better they say and will contain more oils so i bought about 10 pieces and then yeah i was ready to make my cold pressed coconut oil so first i took four large coconuts and broke them And then after that, I removed them from their shell. I went ahead to remove their brown back because I want a very clear white coconut oil. So after this, I began to slice them in very small pieces to enable me blend them in a normal kitchen blender. Go ahead to blend with enough water and blend them as smooth as you can. Now after grinding, we have the coconut shaft, the curd, the milk, the oil and even water all in here so I'm going to just go ahead to sieve out the coconut shaft from the liquid containing the water the curd the milk and the oil the end point is to get the oil out so first we have to take away the shaft which is kind of the solid part here to leave us with the liquid part which is the coconut milk So after separating the shaft from the milk, I'm just going to cover this up. I'm going to leave this a little to separate and then I'll take it to the freezer to kind of solidify the creamy part leaving the water part below. And as you can see, the creamy part is just um, above and then the water is below. So we're just going to separate both and you can see the creamy, the water we used in blending was really much. The cream we had was just not too much. So I'm just going to separate this. So we've got out the cream from the water. As you can see from the beaker, we still have some cream, little cream on it floating. So I'm not going to discard that. I'm still going to take it to the freezer and get those ones out. So here the cream, we still have little water because of the way I fetched it, but no problem. We're going to get them oil. So this is not our coconut oil yet. The oil is still in there, but it still have some coconut cream in it. So we still have to separate. So by doing this, I'm just going to cover this up and then I'm going to set this aside and leave it for some time to ferment and then allow the oil to float up, thereby allowing the oil flavor you know to come out so as you can see we have three layers here water is underneath it then the coconut oil it looks like it's in between it and then the cream is on top of everything so we have to get the coconut oil that is that is in between these um, phases now my coconut oil is pretty small so if you want to make yours please make from above 10 balls of coconut so that you can have enough oil to separate so I'm taking this back to the freezer and then I'm bringing it right back so that we can separate the remaining water from the cream and the oil. So using a spoon, I'm going to raise this part up and as you can see, the remaining water is just lying below it and this particular one happens to be both the oil and then the remaining curd. So I wanted to put them in my jar but I couldn't so however, I'll just um, remove the water pour it out and then I'll come back to this part of the oil and the curd so I'm just going to see a way to scrape out the curd from the oil 
well i couldn't get everything all out so i'm just gonna cover this again and then i'll let it sit aside until the coconut oil melt melts and the cord separates from the oil so after about 30 to 40 minutes i bring it right back and as you can see the oil is floating on top and the cord seems to be underneath it so i'm just gonna find a way to scoop out the oil from the curd to make this easier you can go ahead to put it in the freezer again so that the oil on top can solidify on its own but this time do not put it for long so that the oil can first solidify before the cord and so that it can be easily separated so but i have to separate i have to separate mine twice or thrice to get the oil away from the cord entirely so at the end of the day see what i got i still have some oils in my jar i'll take my time to get them all out so this was what i got from four large coconuts although i still had to press out the remaining oil after this video i went ahead to make more five coconuts and i got this in total so here this is what i got after nine big coconut i think maybe i'll still leave this to set to and see if it can because I, I can see some few particles lying underneath so yeah this is how i got my cold pressed coconut oil if you refrigerate this it's going to solidify and you can use it that way or you can leave it in the liquid form it smelled really great and it came out really nice and this can be used for skincare for hair care for, for cooking for baking for drinking whatever the condition is and a whole lot and more so this is also better than the hot pressed coconut oil although some people would want to prefer the hot pressed method so if you want to give cold pressed coconut oil a try, you can go ahead. This is me clearing this archive from two years back. I'm sorry, I'm just posting this video now. So please do give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and bye.